Welcome to ISTV English News. This is Panorama giving you the news. Let's see the top stories. Vice Chancellor of MU calls upon people to preserve water bodies and indigenous fish. The details. Vice Chancellor of Manipur University Professor HNK Sarma has appealed to the people to preserve water bodies and species of indigenous fish. He was speaking at the inaugural function of the five-day national workshop on fresh water fish taxonomy held at the Department of Library and Information Science, Manipur University. The workshop is jointly organized by the Manipur University and the National Bureau of Fish Genetic Resources, Lucknow. Vice Chancellor of MU, Professor N. K. Sarma, Dean of School of Life Science and Irabanta, Professor W. Biswanath of the Department of Life Science, Director of National Bureau of Fish Genetic Resources, Lucknow, Jai Krishna Jena, and many other heads of departments spoke at the function. Dasu spoke from that the efforts to preserve the existing species of indigenous fish and the various researches being taken up on the subject are for the posterity. The previous wetlands that existed in the important places of biodiversity have been disappearing. Moreover, due to the changes in the environment, many species of fish have also been vanishing. In order to stop these calamitous chains, all need to take up action in a professional manner. VC Professor HNK Sarma said it is necessary for all the people to join hands with experts to preserve the water bodies and also make a concerted effort to save the indigenous fish. We get, you know, some physical in the campus of the university to preserve water bodies. One, the best success is this mural of the bank in the front of the ladies' hostel. So for the last two years, during the Google Goza, you are Sakoba. This university staff called this and sell to the staff and the employee or faculty members of the university at a very strong bank. So that helped. The concrete day was observed today under the aegis of Indian Concrete Institute, Manipur Center at the office of PWD at Kuyatong. Past Chairman of the Institute, E. Binoy Kumar, Chief Engineer of PWD and Lokendro, Chairman of the Institute, Kate Stemba, attended the function. Kate Stemba said the Institute was first established in Chennai in 1982. The Manipur Center was opened in 1988. In comparison with other states, the activities taken up by the Manipur Center are higher. E. Binoy Kumar said, even though the state has no resources, whatever knowledge and experience that we have must be utilized in the best manner boldly while maintaining quality control. World class doesn't mean that we have to make everything express way with bright coloring this. No. Six land, eight land, that type of world class is not there. Even if we make a small uh, village road, it should be world class. Even if we make a small this thing, we should have the quality and the product finish should be world class. A 50-year-old man was admitted to Reims Hospital after he was found laying near Ibohol Cycle Store at Pauna Market this afternoon. His identity is yet to be established. He has been admitted to casualty ward at Reims. Now the national and international news. The Bharatiya Janata Party Ali Sip Sena has backed Prime Minister Narendra Modi's comments on Muslims in India by saying that his Hindu war has not reduced because he called them patriotic. An editorial in Sena's mouth piece, Samna said, as the Prime Minister, Modi represents people from all communities and there is no reason why he should be against a particular community. But he has been always painted as anti-Muslim by pseudo-secularist of the country. The party has asked Muslims not to lay down Modi. It said Modi has loaded Indian Muslims for their patriotism. He has initiated a new chapter by giving a guarantee of the community's love for its motherland. Now Muslims must not let him down. 
the editorial added that just because some indulge in terror X does not mean that every Muslim is a terrorist. As allies, Bharatiya Janata Party and Sip Sena refused to budge over sit searing for Maharashtra Assembly elections, a teams are on to save the alliance. BJP President Amit Saha on Monday called up Sip Sena Chief Udab Thakre and urged him not to break the 25-year-old alliance. This comes a day after the Sip Sena had met a final seat, serving offer to BJP under which the latter gets to contest 119 seats as opposed to its demand for 130 seats. The Saffron Brigade had rejected the offer and rumours were about that the parties which shared a Hindutva agenda might just call it quits. This comes a day after the Sip Sena had met a final seat, sharing offer to BJP under which the letter gets to contest 119 seats as opposed to its demand for 130 seats. To this, Sena Chief Uday Thakre said, they, BJP, should remember they are not givers but tackers on this land. I will be saddened if the alliance breaks. In what seems to have become a warning train in Uttarakhand, a primary school in Dehradun has only one student and two teachers. According to a report in a local newspaper of the state, the school lies in Kalsi block. The school administration got a girl student admitted to this school from another nearby school so that it was not shut down due to dirt of students. Similarly, in the same block, another school has merely 14 students and three teachers. The story is the same for several schools in the state capital as students' population in primary schools are declining. Teachers teaching in schools with few students in various parts of the state are transferred to the capital. As a result, in Dehradun, most of the government primary schools have more teachers than children. A female lawyer from Chhattisgarh consumed phenyl in the Supreme Court premises on Monday after claiming that she was gang raped by her relatives in her home state in November 2013. The lawyer also claimed that she was denied justice and took the extreme step to highlight her plight. The apex court has taken sumoto cognizance of the suicide bit by the lawyer and posted the matter for hearing on Tuesday. The lawyer was rushed to Ram Manohar Lohia Hospital after her preliminary treatment at the Supreme Court dispensary. Pakistan Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif will attend the United Nations General Assembly in New York and address its annual session on Friday. State-run Associated Press of Pakistan said the Prime Minister will leave for the U.S. on Wednesday to address the U.N. General Assembly session. The government has not said anything about the official engagements of Sarif in Newark, but he is expected to co-chair a panel, a UN panel, on peacekeeping in the world. Incessant rain since morning have thrown life out of gear here as most part of the city was waterlogged, prompting the administration to order closure of all educational institutions. The rain-fed Baralu River flowing through the city submerged Anil Nagar, Tarun Nagar, National Highway 37, Arterial GS and GNB roads, officials said. While many vehicles remained stranded on waterlogged streets, others went off the roads causing a lot of difficulty for office goers and school children. In a setback to CBI, Director Ranjit Sinha, the Supreme Court today, agreed to consider a plea for hearing allegations leveled against him without knowing the name of the whistleblower in a case relating to controversial entries in the visitor's diary at his residence. Deadlines once again. Vice Chancellor of MU calls upon people to preserve water bodies and indigenous fish. Thanks for watching our news and for more updates, please stay tuned.